Hi, today I want to show you how you can set up a no code reverse proxy for your WIST and Webflow project. And it is super simple and it only takes a few minutes. So let's get right started into it. So there is a wonderful tool called Subfold that basically lets you create a reverse proxy for your Webflow site without having to do all the code setup. And we're going to use this tool today to do exactly that and to add a service worker script as an example on top of our main page. So yeah, so the way this works is we have an origin URL and a preview URL, right? So the origin URL will be our Webflow um, staging domain. We need to use our Webflow staging domain. You can't use a custom domain for that because since it is a reverse proxy, we have to connect our custom domain with the proxy service that is connected to the Webflow staging domain rather than connecting this, the custom domain to Webflow itself, right? Because Webflow doesn't provide service worker or reverse uh, service worker scripts or modifications of those scripts or adding those scripts on the site itself. So therefore we need a, um, we need something, we need a middleman basically that is doing that for us that connects to Webflow and our domain will connect to the middleman that can facilitate all those functionalities. And you can do way more than service worker for that. You can use custom extensions like slash block to host different kinds of sites in one place and all of that. It is really powerful. And I want to say I'm not getting paid to, to talk so good about Subfold. I'm paying for this subscription here to show you this myself. I'm just talking so highly about it because it is such a great tool and I don't have to use Cloudflare, Cloudflare now. So yeah, let's just add the custom domain right in here. And we're just going to add a preview URL that will be on Subfold's service. So we're just going to do with push because I'm going to use this to set up push notifications. Not in this video, but in the next video. And yeah, let's just, let's just save this. And now if I click on here, you will see this is my website. This is our website. Here you go. But it is not on Webflow IO. It is on subfold.world. So it is actually a different page. It is a different website, basically a different web address that has already the reverse proxy applied to that. But now if I go to wistpush.webflow.io, it will not be on the reverse proxy service. So we need to use subflow.world in order to get all the benefits from using reverse proxy, which we don't want to use .webflow.io, nor wanna, do we want to use subflow.world as our extension. So now we need to add a custom domain, not to Webflow, because this is just already hosted on Subfold, we need to add our custom domain now on Subfold so that we can have the Subfold page on a custom domain that will be able to facilitate custom files, um, custom extensions and all of that, just like a normal reverse proxy would do. And yeah, so let's get right into the DNS settings of our domain provider. So the first step is you want to already open the DNS settings and you just want to start adding things in here. And now after we have that open and we have this configuration saved, we're just going to go to the custom domain section and actually I need to redo the setup. So let's just redo this together. Perfect. So let's add our domain in here with a www. W. So we're going to do www dot um, pwa bridge dot com pwa bridge dot com and this will be the primary. So yeah, let's just click on here and let's add the www in here. So now we're just going to copy those information over and we're going to add that on our GoDaddy account. So we're going to do a C name for www. We're going to add the subfold.world and we're going to do this custom for 
600 seconds and we're going to add the other C name in here as well and we're just going to copy it as it is over like this. It's like setting up a Webflow custom domain. It's very simple. And we're just now going to add this in here. We're going to do a custom of 600 seconds and we're just going to save all records now and we're going to do no. Um, we want to edit that way. And now we're going to save. We're going to wait until the DNS records update. That may take a few seconds. And actually, we also want to do a redirect so that when people go on our normal domain, pwabridge.com, they will be actually going to www.pwabridge.com. Uh, and let's see if this is HTTP or HTTPS. So let's actually see if this already works. And let's try open this in the browser and it works. And this is actually HTTPS. So we need to go to HTTPS because that's a different thing. And we want to do a permanent redirect to www.pwabridge.com. We're going to save this and it may take up to 24 hours to propagate properly. But uh, yeah, we just did that setup and that is working. So now the beauty is if I go to my custom domain right now on www, you will see that this is my Webflow site and all the changes I do on Webflow will be reflected in real time. But with a slight difference that it's not my Webflow site at the same time as well because it is actually the subfold.world site just with my custom domain showing my Webflow site. Now the benefit of this is I can add custom files on here which Webflow won't allow me to do. Let me show you an example. Um, if I want to add a file for a service worker like this in here, which I already have, I could just simply go to PWA bridge and I'm just going to add the path for my service worker and you will see my service worker in here. Now in Webflow, there is no feature to add custom files to your site. So you cannot add a service worker on your domain that would be required when you want to set up a service worker. So this is a workaround that we're going to take the Webflow staging domain, we're hosting an odd subfold, and then we connect our custom domain to subfold that everything will be facilitated in subfold, it will be a custom experience. Your user will not know what's going on. It will be the same experience as like adding a custom domain on Webflow, but you get the possibility to add files like service workers in here. You can add your manifest JSON directly on here and offer amazing offline experiences that even if you reload the page still work if you do the other parts of setting up a service worker as well. Um, you will be also able to manage different paths. Um, for example, you could add a path, for example, a block, and you could set this to a completely different destination and you could even add like custom link prefixes, um, which I will be doing a whole separate video on there as well. But this is really a powerful tool if you try to stretch the possibilities of Wiz, of your web application, you want to offer offline experiences and you want to work with service workers, you want to do real PWAs because once you add a service worker and subfold is the bare minimum you need to do it properly, you'll be able to offer offline apps, you'll be able to add push notifications to your apps, you'll be able to do everything in this PWA realm. You will be able to do everything. But service workers will be a separate video and push notifications will be a separate video. But this reverse proxy is the bare minimum to be able to add service workers offline functionality, even if you reload the page and don't have any internet connection. And it's also the bare minimum for push notifications. So yeah, let's see actually if the normal domain 
works is already forwarding to our www. Let's see. Uh, it's loading. Let's do pwa bridge.com and yeah, it works perfect. So you see, when I go to pwa bridge.com, it will go to www.pwabridge.com and this is exactly the same that, oh, not this, that can host my service worker file on there, which you cannot normally host custom code files on your Webflow site. Or actually, what did I do wrong? Oh, I have double slash. And that will be actually able to host my files in here. So you'll be able to add your custom JavaScript code in there as well on Subflow and load it into your Webflow site as well. So you could also um, really extend the functionalities of what you're doing here within your site. You don't need a CDN, you know, don't need anything of that. So yeah, this is really a powerful tool for pro applications, for enterprise applications and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all your support. I really appreciate that. And I hope that you're going to add reverse proxy on your Webflow and Wiz project as well. And yeah, stay tuned for the push notification video and stay tuned for the service worker video. Those are coming with this setup in mind. And yeah, thank you so much for all your support and your time. I really, really, really appreciate that. And yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.